What's up guys, it's Justin here and I'm at CES 2026. And in this video, I'm going to be taking you through the TCL booth where we're taking a look at all of their innovations in AI, display technology, and so much more. With the mission to inspire the future, there is so many aspects that TCL is innovating on and we're going to take a look at every single part of this booth behind me. From the SQD mini LED TV for the next generation to the AR glasses, there art and green initiatives, display technology of the future, and also smart home products. We have a lot to cover in this video and I wanna give a huge thanks to TCL for sponsoring this episode. So this is the TCL SQD Mini LED TV. It gives you ultimate brightness, the most incredible color fidelity, and you can see it right here in the large 98X11L flagship model. I mean, this TV in person just looks incredible. You can see how bright it is just from me standing in front of it. It is a thinner package, and on top of that, it also gives you a higher brightness than RGB Mini LED. On top of that, it also has three times the dimming zones of typical RGB Mini LED TVs as well. And on top of that, it also has no color crosstalk, giving you a pure white backlight between the different dimming zones. This is a demonstration of the backlight technology. Here is the Super QLED technology demo. There's also the WHVA 2.0 Ultra Panel technology. And it also talks about the five major advantages as to what SQD Mini LED really means in this TV and why it's the future. From the lens elements, to the pixels, to the way that they're eliminated, to the filters to be able to reduce glare, all of those elements are very important in addition to the processing and AI involved that give you the ultimate TV experience if you are looking for the best. I think what you're also gonna notice is that it is thinner on the sides here. In these 98 inch models right here, it is impressively thin considering the technology behind it. But the biggest thing you would notice is that the TV is so bright. All of the colors on the screen, the infinite contrast, everything just jumps right out of the screen. And Mini LED was already the gold standard of TV for quite a few years. And SQD is the next phase of that. I also attended the Tech Talk event with TCL's Ming Zhongju to learn more about their display technology and innovations. So we've seen the new flagship TVs, but this is AI for TV that enhances the whole experience, not only when it comes to refining the sound, the picture, the interactive experience. Starting over here, you have AI picture, which talks about like color master, as well as contrast master, clarity, and motion. That is the aspect that takes the content that you deliver and makes it look as good as possible. Over here, you have AI sound. So whether you have a multi-speaker system or you're just playing sound out of the TV, it will adapt to the room around you and give it the fullest sound possible. And on top of that, it also does a great job of giving you that surround feel as well, just through the built-in speakers of the TV and the content that you're watching. AI content generation, on the other hand, is able to create AI art that is unique for what you would like to have on your TV. And when it comes to AI interaction, smart voice assistant, AI Translate are some of the examples of how you can control your TV using voice and AI without having to pick up or find your remote. So this is a Rayneo X3 Pro, and it's a little bit different from a projection glasses, but instead, it is one of the world's lightest mass-produced full-color AR glasses. And it features the latest Gemini 2.5, which means whatever questions you might ask on your day-to-day, -day, anything that you want to do for you, it is able to do it with the latest AI model from Google. On top of that, you're able to control the interface very nicely through the panel on the side here, accessing some of your favorite apps, but also for practical use cases such as translation, it has translations of up to 14 languages within 2.1 seconds. This is like the future of utility glasses, glasses that you can wear on an everyday basis that can help assist you. Simple things such as translations, route guidance, information on screen are just some examples, but the Ray Neo is actually also able to work with some wider apps such as TikTok, 
Instagram, for example, to actually consume content on these glasses. The X3 Pro AR glasses is really meant for being able to take advantage of the world of AI tools that are available to you and actually have access to them at any given moment. So this right here is the new Rainio Air 4 Pro, and it gives you a projection and a display that you're able to enjoy games, movies, TV shows, and get the most immersive experience possible. It looks like a 201 inch projection that has a 200,000 to one contrast ratio. Most importantly though, this is able to display more colors than any other AR glasses on the market. It is the world's first HDR10 AR glasses, and it's able to take 2D content, convert it into 3D, and it's really meant to give you the most immersive experience wherever you are. Whether you're at home or you want to bring this on the go, it gives you a 201 inch equivalent projection from six meters away, making you feel like you have a movie theater right in front of you. It has 10 levels of adjustable brightness, but visuals are not all when it comes to an immersive experience. TCL has teamed up with Bang & Olufsen to build the audio technology into these AR glasses, giving you great visuals and great audio. So this right here is the TCL PlayCube, and it is a super portable little projector that allows you to bring your content with you anywhere. It gives you a three hour battery life, which allows you to enjoy a few different movies, TV shows, really anything that you could imagine, but you also have the option to plug in your own device through HDMI and stream content as Google is built in. You have 90 degrees of adjustment right here. So wherever you bring it, set it up, adjust that angle, and you're good to go. It has 750 lumens of brightness, and it also has TCL's TrueHue dynamic calibration technology. So as soon as you turn it on, it will be able to adapt to the scenario and you're able to enjoy your content right away. So this right here is the TCL Note A1 Next Paper, and it's meant to sit in the middle of a traditional tablet and an e-ink tablet, giving you the best of both worlds. It has a very anti-glare design, which is great to give you a paper-like experience, but it has the refresh rate of a traditional tablet at 120 hertz. It has an 11 and a half inch display, and the T-Pen Pro has 8,192 pressure points, giving you an accurate input. It's enhanced by AI tools such as handwriting recognition, translation, and summarization, and it really boosts your efficiency in note-taking, creation, and sharing redefining productivity for the modern e-note. It's a very unique tablet. I really haven't seen anything like this before. On the smartphone side of things, this is the Next Paper 70 Pro from TCL. You can actually use the key to switch from a traditional color display mode over to one of the ink options, including Max Ink, Ink Paper, and Color Paper. Max Ink mode lets you use a limited amount of apps and it really extends battery life like crazy. It also has a week long standby time in the Max Ink mode and you also have Ink Paper mode which is like a black and white ink display and the Color Paper mode is great for enjoying stuff like comics. So now take a look at TCL's CSOT, which showcases their advanced global display technologies and the Apex Innovation Philosophy, which stands for amazing display experience, protective of eye health, eco-friendly to build and use, and unlimited imaginative potential. Some of the examples right here include the world first sliding multi-curved inkjet printed display, which is seen in the automotive demo right here. This is useful for like the passenger display, being able to expand and contract it, the curved display with the controls, and the HUD experience, which is a really cool demo. It's a world's first display of this kind that is able to go from 16 to 28 inches, and it has an RGB pixel arrangement with the average luminous area ratio of 50 to 60%, and under four millimeters in its bend radius, supporting over 100,000 sliding roll operations. This whole station allowed us to take a look at just what TCL is working on in display technologies that you'll see in the near future and also further down the road in many different applications. TCL also had the AI Me robot in the AI Innovation Zone, and it was a cool like, companion with lifelike expressions, voice, and touch interaction, and it learns habits over time for personalized companionship. It uses an emotion-led AI with hundreds of expressions and responsive gestures, games, storytelling, smart home living assistance control for security and daily convenience, and it's meant to be like a companion, but was also kind of like a pet with a full personality of its own. 
So now I'm standing in front of the TCL Art Initiative, in front of the A400 TV. I personally love TVs that are able to showcase art. And this is a global initiative that TCL has to make art more accessible and also showcasing how it takes place in all walks of life. It makes art more accessible through the power of access to global technology. Technology is at the essence of all visual creations and this is what the TCL Art Initiative is all about and that is inspiring the artists of tomorrow. So before we wrap up this booth tour, we are also stopping by the TCL Green Initiative, which showcases what they're working on when it comes to using recyclable materials. TCL Green Initiative drives sustainability through technology to create a greener world while enhancing personal well-being. In this case, they take porcelain and transform it into ceramic powder and the TCL Ecora pellets, which are then used for elements in the appliances, as well as the remotes, and the TV back panels as just some of the examples right here. So here at CES, we're taking a look at the TCL and NFL partnership. The US is a very important market for TCL. In fact, they're number one in market share for TVs over 87 inches, number one in mini LED TVs, and number two in overall TV market share. The Super Bowl is coming up in just a short time, the biggest event of the year for North America, essentially. And it's no better time to get a nice big TV for your living room to be able to enjoy the big game. And it's been really fun checking out the partnership with the NFL here. So what was my favorite part of the TCL booth? I've got to say it is the SQD mini LED TVs. I mean, those displays look incredible. And even on camera, you can see just how bright they are that when we were filming, the colors just popped right out of the screen. On top of that, I'm also really excited about display technologies of the future, rollable screens, as we saw in the automotive demo. And on top of that, I feel like the next paper is a very unique approach to smartphones and tablets. I feel like TCL is one of the only companies that has really presented a realistic e-ink option that still allows you to enjoy your smartphone like a typical phone. Underpinning these innovations is TCL's robust global infrastructure, now comprising 47 R&D centers and 39 manufacturing bases serving over 1.3 billion users. TCL has really localized its business with a Silicon Valley R&D center for ensuring products meet specific regional needs. But otherwise, thank you guys so much for joining me at the TCL booth tour, where we take a look at pretty much every single thing here. There is so much to cover, all of the TV technology, home, and much more. So if you guys enjoy this video, make sure you go ahead and drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.